We are live, people. We are go live. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I won't know who can see me. I know I'm public. That I make sure of. <laughs> so I don't know who can see me, but if anybody's out there, they can see me. Just say, hey. Okay, Sharita can see me. I can hear myself here. So I know I'm live. And I know, I know I'm live. That's it. So I'm live in five. Yeah, I think Sharita's the only one watching. Okay, well, I know Sharita's watching. I don't know who else may watch, but happy Memorial Day, everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone. You know, Memorial Day is what usually, the, what in, in the old days, it was more, Memorial Day was on the 31st, I think, always. I Hi, Mabel. Happy know. Memorial Day yeah. to you. <laughs> I think I think before they started making um, these days off, you get the Monday off for holiday. I think Memorial Day was like on the 31st. That's what I feel. I, mean, I, I think really that I think that's that. what it was. I'm glad you're here, Mabel. Thank you for coming. Uh, I haven't been on for a couple of weeks, a few weeks actually. You know, been a lot of stuff going on uh, around around here, around my with my family and things, and you know, so I had to pay, pay more attention to pay attention to that, and I really needed to do that. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to say what <laughs> what it was. You know, actually, I think I, I would eventually. I'm going to say what happened, but um, things have happened. <laughs> things have happened here in New York with all kinds of stuff going on. You know, we still, even though things are a lot better, you know, it was pretty bad, you know. So, uh, but we must go on. God knows best. Uh, we must go on. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Uh, uh, how, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm actually, I'm doing much, much better. <laughs> much, much better. I wasn't great, but I'm much better now, you know. And lots of stuff has been going on in my life, so, uh, in my family's life. And so, we, you know, um, it's just been hard. It's been a, bit, a little bit hard. So, I don't know. Uh, yes, and she read it. If, she, if you hear, Sharita's is here with me, you know. But it is Memorial Day weekend, and it's unofficially summer. Right? It's unofficially summer. Even though it's I, a month left. I do think that uh, Sharita says they got a month of school left. Uh, you're doing well, very good, very very good. Are you in New York, Stephanie? Are you in New York also? Because I wonder how you guys are doing where you are, where you live. Because New York has been uh, pretty much shut down and pretty much a lot of people, especially where I live, have been dying. Oh, you're in Ohio. Oh, okay. So are you open up? I think you open over there in, in Ohio. How's that going? How's the corona stuff going over there? You know, because corona is much better over here, as they say. But, you know, it's just a lot of casualties because of it, you know. And I know a lot of people who have passed. You know, in my family, as a matter of fact, at least one in my family. So it's, it hasn't been, it's been, it's been rough. And a lot of people I know just even, you know, tested positive, you know. So, uh, mm, it, it's, it's, it's just not been great. But I just heard the other day uh, in a Zoom meeting <laughs> that it's okay. Uh, you got a pedicure? You you went and got a pedicure? Go, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. How do they how do they protect themselves with this pedicure stuff? Well, maybe maybe because you're down they're down at your feet. Maybe you're not that close to them. But you know you know it, it it's in different places. It is it is it maybe a lot a lot easier to uh, to handle this kind of thing. But I, I in New York with um our, our transit our transit system and with uh um the buses and we, we were all packed together really the buses, you know the, subway, the buses the, the subway the and the way our buildings are that you may have to work in those buildings are um not good at all the building that i actually work in 
we have windows. I have, it's a pretty looking building, but you can't open those windows. So the, the air just circulates, you know. So yeah, you're here in, in Missouri, been in the house for three months. Last week was the first time. Oh, you've been in the house for three months. Yeah, good. You stay out of this <laughs> if you can. If you can, stay out of it. Because, I mean, this is not good at all. Happy. Hello there, uh, um, Josh. Happy Memorial Day to you, too. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a, a, a hard a hard thing going on with us, though. Um, and I understand that, at least for the summer, we'll be working from home still, no matter what. And I do know. Is that what they said? Yeah. That's, that's what we were told. Yeah. When did they tell you that? Um, last time we had a meeting. Um, yeah, you have their mask on. They always ask to wash your hands. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, we have to wash your hands, have, keep the mask on. But um, you can't be in a crowd. You can't be in a crowd of people. You just, you can't. And it's, in, it's, it's hard to do that if you're working in the city or if you're in the city or if you're going back and forth. If you, it's hard to do that. And, you know, you, if you're around your family, you actually you know who your family is. If something happens, you know these are the people you... You've been around. Yeah, I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good now, but I wasn't too good. <laughs> Truth be told, I wasn't too good. No, no. I mean, I'm feeling much, much better now, you know. But, um, yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm around the crowd. And with that, you know. You were yeah. also. Hey, hey, you. Gabby. Yes, Gabby. Yes, Gabby. I wasn't too good, girl. <laughs> I wasn't too good. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. But, you know, I had a mild case. Let's just say that. I had a mild case of, of corona. Yes, I did. I'm going to tell y'all so y'all know. I had a mild case of corona. And um, thank God it was just a mild and case. Princess just said that color looks nice on you. Oh, thank you, Princess. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, but I, I uh, yeah, yeah, Gabby. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I didn't even really know I had it. It felt like I had allergies, you know, and I, I decided, my, bro my brother decided, my brother had a case too, and but he didn't know that either. He, he felt like he had, um, he was just, what was it? Um, he was dizzy. So he just thought it was something else, but he went, got tested, and he told me to go get tested, and a lot of our family members got tested, and a lot of us had it. <laughs> a lot of us, but I, I honestly felt, I really feel like I had it probably in December. You guys knew when I was not feeling well in December. I think it was that. I really do. Now, I, nobody knew what it was, but I really think it was that. And it makes me wonder if I've had it since then and, it, you know, until they finally tested me in, like, April and I had it. Uh, I mean, how long did I have it? You know, because I know I didn't feel well in December. I felt much better when I got tested but I did realize that I had a little shortness of breath. Yeah. How you doing there? Yeah, it was, it was in here in December because I know I had it. I know I had it around, after, around Christmas. I was done. I didn't feel well at all, at all. And, and I didn't know what it was. Didn't, nobody knew. But it makes me wonder, what makes me wonder about this thing is that, um, you know, if you if you get back in the crowd, do you get it again, or do, did you did it ever stop? And you just really don't know what this thing is, you know. And I have heard that you can get reinfected, you know. So I especially they being did say that even if you have immunities, that it doesn't mean that yeah. you yes are yeah that you in the clear. If yeah. just cause you that you're in the clear, if just because you have some immunity to it. Um, I don't know. All I know is. When they told me I had it, I was like, oh, geez, that's why I feel a little shortness of breath. <laughs> so I was just getting fat. I can't walk around so much. That's all I know. I, I was like, jeez, oh, you know, maybe that's what it is, you know. So, but no, it was definitely that I had, I had tested positive and I had the shortness of breath. Uh, no fever. I didn't ever, ever have a fever, not even in December. I didn't have no fever. Um, let me see. What else? Definitely lost my sense of smell and taste. And I remember doing a video with Sharita, and she's telling me, but it's enough salt on that. I couldn't taste it. <laughs> I literally could, I couldn't taste it, you know. And then I realized, too, that I couldn't smell things because um, 
I would I did the laundry and and you know I, I like the I like the the smell of clean laundry with that um what's this stuff called Sharita that uh yeah with the unstoppables I love that smell I love I'm a person that could smell things pretty good and I smelled it one day and was like wow the smells really good and the next time I, I washed my clothes and put my my sheets on couldn't smell nothing but I didn't pay no attention to it you know and it kept going on and I just didn't pay attention to it and then finally I walked past one of my towels and I'm like, whoa, I can smell that. I realized I could not smell. You know, it's, it goes on so long, I think you just don't even know that you don't, you don't feel it and you, don't, you can't smell things or you can't taste things. So you like sort of get used to it, I think, until the thing probably gets all up in your lungs and kills you, you know. So I refused to stop going. I refused. I worked from home and, you know, I just tried to take it a little easy, but I still work from home because I wasn't that a bad off. You know, if it would have been Christmas time, I would have had to stop because I really was, I was not really feeling well back then. But, you know, I have to say, though, I do feel much better. And I got to say, I didn't know I felt so bad. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, I feel a lot better. So I needed a rest. I needed the rest and I needed to, you know, get myself together. And that's what I've been doing. Hello there, Rosebud. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm telling my Corona story because I'm one of those people. I had it. Okay. And I'm, guess I survived it. You know, unfortunately my niece passed away. Uh, she did not survive it, you know, so, um, it's it's it, like I say it's been a it's been a, a a while it's been a lot of stuff going on. Hi, oh that's Shavita. <laughs> so it's been it's been a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, yeah, Gabby, my my niece passed. You know, so we just had a funeral on Friday. You know, and um, yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff going on. She was like, she was more like, yeah, yeah. The, yes, some yeah. um, thank you. You know. So it's been a lot of stuff going on around here, you know. So we, I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on. <laughs> so I have had to like kind of, you know, I have to work. So I, I worked, but I tried to like try to get myself some rest where I didn't have to do too many other things. So, and I don't, like I said, I do not know. I don't know about this, this virus. And I do believe it's going to come back anyway, if we get ourselves in crowds. Period. Period. I do believe it's going to come back. So, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys that that... Hey, it was here in December. Yeah, it was here in December. <laughs> it was. It really... It was here and it mutated to some other kind of a corona. I don't know. My child. I don't particularly want nothing coming in my lungs, really, at all. You know. So, yeah. It, but it's been, it's, been, it's been a little bit rough around here. But thank God... Basically, we still all good. We're good. I don't know about this Christmas and Thanksgiving and, and, and getting together with people. <laughs> you know how many people come in my house. You guys see how many people are always in my house. So I don't know how that's going to roll anymore until we kind of know, until we get a cure for this thing. I'm not sure about that. But today is Sunday, number 22 for me. The 22nd time I've done um, Sunday dinner. And today, and also, I'm not going outside. The uh, weather was, eh, not today. It was a little, looked a little cloudy, but now it looks much better. But I'm not going outside to cook my ribs. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to do it in my pressure cooker, you know. And I'm going to stick it in the oven for just a few minutes. So I don't mind turning the oven off for a few minutes to put it under the wrap. But that's what we're doing. That's what we have today. So there is... There is my ribs. There's three packs of ribs in here. And um, that came from Costco. So that's a big pack. Um, we'll be eating this. Hey, Cheryl. How are you, Cheryl? <laughs> How you doing? I hope you're good. But, yeah, I hope you and the baby is good, my little girl. Give a kiss for me, Cheryl. So, anyway, here's my, here's my pressure cooker. And what I'm going to do is put in some apple cider vinegar is going in my pot apple cider vinegar Put some of that in there not a lot what she say hey cheryl the last person she just said hey cheryl oh <laughs> oh okay 
How are you, Cheryl? And some more in here. Cheryl, you know we're not going back to work, at least in the summertime, I understand. That was my last, that's the last thing they said about that. So, and then I'm putting some liquid smoke. Uh, fine, sorry to hear. what she said? Um, I'm sorry, Steph, sorry to hear that you had that beast. God is good. Yes. He he bring, I, I guess, Mm-hmm. That's my, that's my, that's my work daughter there. Oh. That's I have a work daughter. Yes. Let's see you. Yes, I have a work daughter. I have work daughters. I and that's, have... So I put a little bit of, uh, what is this stuff? A liquid smoke, the hickory one in there. And I'm going to put a little bit of the other one. What is this one I got? Uh, I have some... Applewood liquid smoke. So we Smoke's put that in there. The applewood has like an applewood um, smell to it, like you know, like putting the chips of applewood in your on your barbecue. That's the difference. The other one's hickory. I'm watching you do your thank you, <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. You never get a chance to usually watch me, girl. And here's a uh, four cups of water. There we go. How long is this gonna take? Oh, it's going to take, it should take about 15, I'm going to have it on pressure for 15 minutes. And how long does it take to, to get to Russia? Uh, it's going to take, it takes about, hmm, takes about maybe 10 minutes to get to pressure. Maybe 15. So it's going to be like a half hour in total. So here it is. Here is my, oh, let me turn it this way. Let me turn my pot around so I can see what I'm doing. Ugh. Using your Instapot, not your foodie? No, I'm using my Instapot today. All but right. wouldn't the foodie give it like a, a crispiness, like grilling? But, hi, Donna. How you doing? It's 70, it's to 70 Roger, yes. How are you, DK? Yes, the, 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 um. Why two vinegars, she wants to know. Why did I use two, two? Oh, because I like the apple flavor, actually. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Don't you miss me in every afternoon? <laughs> when I'm running out the door and you just coming in? How about that, Cheryl? Tiffany said that's the cool looking measuring cup. Love it. I've had this thing. I've had this for I have it for years. I mean, that's like the basic one, no? Yeah, but it's yeah, but they don't usually she usually like the one the one size, the cup size. This is four cups. I have a four cups right now, so. See, you follow your mother. Yes, it's Pyrex. I've had this Pyrex for like almost as long as I've known you. <laughs> so, Cheryl, how you like being home with the kids? How you like that? Are you homeschooling? Yes, you got a home. Cheryl, you teaching the kids at home, huh? What about Ash? How he doing? <laughs> Bad idea. What's a bit? It's a bad idea to homeschool. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> it's a lot. Cheryl, what are you talking about? The conversations I have with you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cheryl, come on. Come on. You be on those kids. <laughs> oh, I know it's too much. <laughs> uh, listen. So you want to go back to work? You'd rather be we, uh, Cheryl? You don't want to be home? Come on. Listen, Cheryl, I did my own hair. I washed my hair. I washed my hair. I dyed my hair. Uh, that's Pyrex and Instapot are great. Yes. Yeah. I, Gabby, I've been saying that. You got to get you an Instapot. <laughs> this thing is my friend. <laughs> I miss you too. I don't want to be at work though, child. I could work. Perfectly fine from home. I do not want to go back. <laughs> and as long as this thing go, it'll be almost time for me to retire anyway. So it's all right with me. I don't want to go back. I really don't. I don't see why I have to. I'm doing my work much better from home. I hear it sizzling here. So, yes. Is it supposed to sizzle? Yes. What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You can come visit me. You can come, to, you can come around here. You can visit me and bring your daughter. I want to give her a kiss and a hug. So she got so big. Give kisses and hugs after people. Oh, that's right. We can't do kisses and hugs now. 
We can't do that. We gotta do the fist bump, right? <laughs> I think that's the last, uh -huh. the elbow thing. I think that's the last thing I did when I saw you, Cheryl. I was like, we gonna do this because we can't get too close. <laughs> yeah, that one's big trouble. <laughs> ah, she's not big trouble. What, is she just like you? <laughs> she's like you, kid? What is it? <laughs> she can't be like big trouble. She's a little thing. How can she be big trouble? <laughs> oh, man. Worse, it can't be worse than you. Mm -mm. You better watch Cheryl. Can't be worse than you. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> you? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no, ma'am. She can't be worse than you. Absolutely not. <laughs> but yes. So that's, 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 the, that's the deal from, uh, you know, from the Brooklyn side. Hey, Timmy Fish. <laughs> How you doing, Timmy? I guess it's nice and warm where you are. You must be outside cooking. Do you cook outside, Timmy? <laughs> so I, uh, I am making some potato salad with it, which I already have my potatoes and, um, and eggs ready to go. And I made some string, I made some um, string beans and vegetables. You do sometime, huh, Timmy? In what? <laughs> I made some um, string beans and mixed vegetables just in the pot. Those no, are all ready I to go. Fast. No, I only, I did not, I did not. I put some butter in there and some seasoning in there and that's it. So that's ready to go. I'm ready to go with that. You know what? And I had this pineapple while you guys are waiting oh. for me. I want to cut that pineapple did up. You think you had a watermelon? Was that I had a watermelon, but there's not much watermelon left that I cut up because Mr. Perry ate it. <laughs> I didn't hardly. I only had a little bit. I think it's still some in there, but he ate a lot of it. So you know, I went to um, uh, Costco to get, pick out my watermelon. You know, and I gotta tell you guys, I, I have been in the house. I have not really been shopping. I like to go shopping. I love to go shopping. When I think when I was going and I put that mask on, it was like too much for me. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. So I really haven't been going food shopping or anything like that. So I ordered from Instacart and uh, um, I got stuff from Costco from Instacart and I got stuff from, what is that, Seatown or Key Food or whatever. But I ordered some eggs and every single time I get eggs from these people, they give me them broken eggs. So these shoppers aren't even looking to make sure the eggs look right before you give me that stuff. And it just pissed me off. <laughs> pissed me off. So I said, nah, I got to go and go do my own shopping. I'm sorry. So I went out. I went out and got my own, did my own thing, you know, uh, the other day. So I'm, you know, and my freezers are full. full. My refrigerator is full. So yeah, man, how are you going to give me them cracked eggs? Every time. A and lot then, more restaurants are opening too, though, if you want to get. Yeah, I guess she says a lot of more restaurants are opening. Eh, if I can, I want to cook for myself, you know. But sometimes, now when I'm working, like I got to tell you, when I'm working, I might finish work and then I'll go do something else and then I might go on my computer for something else and I see I got um, a um, some email. I go back into the email and I still continue to work. And I, I got to, it's, it's hard. I have to learn to stop doing that you know because even if it's on a weekend and i'm like you know i'm just on my computer and then i'll start i'll see something and i could then i'll work and i gotta stop it because i have to get up out of off of that chair and go the heck on outside it's like i gotta find a balance that i i i'm not having right now because i need to get outside you know but yeah it's 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 terrible but I definitely feel better. And I think that daggone building that I work in was killing us anyway, you know? Cause my cheeks right here, right? Oh my goodness, right there was my sinus problem. I think it was coming from that doggone job, you know? Because right now I haven't been here like almost three months and I don't feel that. And it's, it's spring and I thought it was the sinus stuff, but it could be something nasty in that, in that job running around and the air filtrates and you can't open the window so the air just goes around and around the same air till they fix that i don't think i want to be there i don't think i want to be there so i i'm hoping that they can stay figure out how we can work from home and so far i've been able to work from home almost everything that i do 
I can get it done from home. So I don't need to see people. They can call me if you want. <laughs> I don't need to see you. <laughs> you can't come in my office and sit down, you know, and, and let's have a conversation. You want to have a conversation, you're going to have to call me, talk to me that way. That's what we're going to have to do. Oh, no. Tiffany, I'm telling you, child. Mm -mm. No, I, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm getting my work done. Definitely uh, less, uh, definitely better because it's less aggravated. Less, less, I have more concentration at home. So, you know, and then I went and bought myself a, how do you do this? I went, Formula that's today. bad for me. But you can see me. You can, you can come to my house and see me, uh, Miss Armstrong. You can come to my house and see me. <laughs> I can, you can most certainly see me when we all can see each other. You can always come over. I will let you come over. Then we can hang out outside. We can have a good conversation. Listen to some good music, okay? And don't forget to bring some food, okay? <laughs> you can bring the kids too. It's okay. As long as we get to the point that we can see each other, you can always come over. <laughs> but there, there's something nasty in that building. You it's might something. have, you know. <laughs> yes, food. <laughs> I'm really old school. It's not the school I currently work at. But uh -huh. my school's also invested with mice. They used to have, like, all of these mice and, like, all these mice droppings all over the place. Mm. And, like, nasty. it was mm. really, like, OSHA had to come in and it was, like, hazardous. Like, yeah. all these people had all of these respiratory problems. Like, I see really Stan really started a garden. Uh, yeah, he, he, that's what Stanley liked to do. He likes doing his garden. I was thinking about putting some tomatoes out to this year. I haven't got around to it. I haven't decided if I'm really going to do it, but I might because I have to get myself out of this house and go outside. So I might do my little, at least do my tomatoes because I really do like my tomatoes. But Stanley likes this stuff. The only, this is therapeutic to him, you know. It's also kind of therapeutic to me. You guys saw the, if you saw any, um, the pictures that Sharita put up, I was doing her hair. I, I, um, I, uh, what's that called? I crocheted. Yes. That crochet braid. Ended up being like too much, she put in too many braids. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was too many braids. It, it was far too heavy yeah. for my head. It was too heavy for her head, but thank you. It was, yeah, it was really, it was real nice, but her head, it was too many for her. I, and because those things were 20 inches long, I think she should, if you want to try it again, we're going to get the shorter ones and maybe put a little less in there. It might, she might like it better because it was a lot, but it was beautiful. Gabby, I could probably do your hair real nice. <laughs> I know you can handle that, 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 that hairstyle. I can do you real nice. <laughs> Cause her, she can, oh, she can handle that. I'm sure. I'm sure you can handle it, Gabby. I could put that in there. You'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Then go and get yourself somebody. <laughs> yeah, I know you can handle it, cause it, it, cause you're a bigger person, and you know it'll it'll it look good on you. But mm -mm. Sharita's too little and too much hair, you know. But it looked beautiful. I was like, whoa, look at that. You did a good job. And, and that was the job. first time I did it. So I get into my cre try again next week. So yeah, I get into my create creativity stuff which I need to do and which I actually like to do. It takes my mind off of stupid work and going on that damn computer, you know. So once I finally get caught up, I'll be all right. Uh, you are, the, uh, yes, I'm the original hairdresser. <laughs> yes, I'm the original and I think I still got my skills, Tiff. I think I still got them. <laughs> your hair's down to your hips, Gaddy? Wow. That's crazy. Oh, you used to it? <laughs> Oh my not. God! Wow. Like, like, how do you? Like, well, three you years to me. Like, how do you cover all that hair? Sharita, Sharita mm -hmm. wants to know how do you cover all that hair. Sharita wants to know what, how do you do that, Gab? <laughs> wow, your hair grew like crazy. Oh my gosh! And you don't need those things because your your hair's already like that. Wow, got to be heavy. My goodness. And Gabby, how's your mom? You sleep in a high bun? Ooh. Ooh. I can't do it. I need my hair cut right now. I can't, I can't do all of that. Oh, my goodness. My hair is still short, but it's longer than it usually is, man. Wow. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody's good. Very good. Pineapple to hair. Ugh. Put it up like that. That's too much. Can, can you imagine her with the pineapple hair? 
<laughs> Can you imagine that? It's I looking like Marge Simpson. Oh, like, God. A lot of hair for my little body. Yeah, yeah, she, she, it was too much. But we can do it with less hair. And, and, and actually not so long. Maybe not the no. jumbo ones. I yeah. think it was the fact that they were jumbo. Yeah, I guess. So many yeah, I guess she got, the, she got the wrong kind. But, you know, we can do this again. At least I'm getting the, the, the hang of that, that crochet hook. Man, I was like, wow, I could do this. You know, you have to go back to the old days when you had to do things, man. What's for dinner? What's, the, what's for dinner today, Tim, uh, Timmy, is um, some ribs. I'm doing them in, this, in my pressure cooker for like 15 minutes. It's about to come to pressure, and then it'll stay on for 15 is, minutes. I forgot. Is the sauce already in this? No. Then after I take them out, then I'm going to put sauce on them, stick them on the, in, the, in, the, in the broiler, and they're going to get nice and crispy in a few minutes, and that's for dinner. Oh, Plus yes, some potato salad. Couldn't you have just used the foodie, and then you wouldn't have had Yeah, I could have. No, because the foodie is only, it doesn't take, it's too small. Mm. It's too small to stick up, and it's too many things to do, so. Mm -mm. That was why I didn't use them. That's otherwise I could have, you can, if you're only going to make a little, a small amount of ribs, you could use the foodie for this. You want to just, you know, you want to do the same process, but to put the, put them up on the top and let them get brown and it will be nice. They'll come out good, but it's only if you're going to do a few of them because it's just too small. That, that appliance is too small. So, so anyhow, what I really want to do, I have my, I have my potato salad, but you know, what I want to do is I want to cut my pineapple. Uh, not to sound silly, but can you explain the difference between broil and break? Broiling is, uh, Gabby, you're never silly. Oh, yeah, Gabby. And thank you for teaching me how to, or telling me how to do a mail merge. Because I went and learned that thing. And I did that mail merge from the reappointments. I did it myself. How about that? <laughs> I'm thanking you for that, because golly, that was a lot of work, <laughs> but I learned how to do it, and I'm learning all kinds of new things, and you was the first one to tell me that. Thank you. <laughs> but to broil is just to put it up right underneath the fire, and then it just like gets, um, you know, brown, you know. To bake it is really to truly, to just, just um, it bakes from, on a, on a different level, on a lot, on a, on a, uh, on a lower temperature and it just bakes, you know, and it gets totally cooked. But to broil something, like you can broil a steak. So maybe you don't want the steak well done. So what you would do is put it under the broiler just to get the top done. But in the middle, it might not be done, as, you know, real done, but that's how, it's okay because that's how people want to eat it. But when you maybe want chicken, you don't want to necessarily stick that under the broiler. You want to bake the whole thing because you want it well done. See, here we go. <laughs> That's the difference. So I have to stick, because this will be done, falling off the bone when it's finished. It'll be falling off the bone. And then I have to stick it under there, put some uh, barbecue sauce on it, and good to go. And it's really delicious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just call me. <laughs> How um, differently would you season it in a, the same, the same way? I, was, I, see, I season this the same way I season it, um, DK, if I'm going to take it outside. Usually, I put some, um, well, you, I clean it up and take the, the skin off of it. And then I put some, like, uh, what is it called? Do I have any? I think I threw it out. I, you know, I put some rib um, seasoning, rib rubs and stuff like that on it. And some um, thyme, onion powder, garlic powder. And... You know, let it sit. And then if I'm, and I, I might even, and I did actually put a little bit of vinegar in there, let it just sit for like an hour or so. And then I either put it outside on a hot, for, on a hot fire or I put it in here. But that's how I usually do it. So no difference in seasoning. Seasoning is exactly the same, just cooking it in a different way. So that's how I'm doing that. But I'm going to cut my pineapple up in between all this because I want to make my, this is my, for my ingredients for my potato salad. But I'm gonna, I wanna cut my pineapple up while my mind is on it. Cause you know how pineapples are? If you don't get them things done, let me turn you this way and see if I can get you down. I would love pineapple. And Sharita wants some pineapple. Zero points. So, so 
Zero points for pineapples? Hmm. Fruits are zero points. I feel like we, we discussed I don't know. Why, why would fruits be zero points? That's kind of crazy. It's a healthy snack. A healthy snack. Okay. Not fruit juice, okay. but fruit itself. Like a whole fruit. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to Costco and get me some... Um, Get me another uh, another watermelon. They have the most delicious watermelons at Costco, boy. So I'm going to go get me another one. Did you ever make the cake? No. You know, I was thinking, and you guys, I was thinking about making a chocolate cake that I made years ago when I was a teenager. And it tastes like a chocolate ice cream cake. And I was remembering that cake. And I want to probably do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it on camera or what, but... It's, it's like got a whipped cream kind of filling in it and a whipped cream on the outside. And you know, you have to put it in the refrigerator, keep it nice and cold all the time. But when you take, when you eat that cake, it's like you're eating a chocolate ice cream cake. And I was thinking about that cake because it was so good. I mean, so it sounds I found, good. It sounds so good. It would be a really good birthday cake. I'm I found a recipe. Maybe it is, maybe for, maybe, maybe ice box cake. I never did an icebox cake, though. Tell me about that, Tiffany. Tell me all about that one. Here's my, here's my pineapple. And I can smell it. It's all like pineapple. Man, I got my smell back. <laughs> wow, it's that deep. I can't smell nothing. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it was odd. It was odd, to say the least. Let's see if I can get that down. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I see. I see how I'm gonna get this. Okay, let me move it a little like that. Okay, looks like you guys can see me. So here's my pineapple. I'm gonna get me a good old sharp knife. There's a good sharp knife. That this does is, look like it could definitely. This is my cut go. It's my cut co knife. And I'm gonna cut this thing right now. Off goes the top. It smells good, man. Yes, I can smell. When you know, when you you know it's time to cut your pineapple, when you can smell it, okay? You know it's time. And, and while the while I can still get some plastic bags, well, this is my junk bag. This is where I put all the leftovers and throw it all in a bag right here. Just easier that way. So here she goes. Cut the sides, and I'm going to go right this way. Cut them down. It only takes a second, but you want to get, you want to cut it all down. There we go. And then it can go in the refrigerator, and we can eat it, and I can maybe have some more, I have a healthier uh, snack rather than potato chips. I have been potato chipping myself to death here, and I gotta stop it. Yesterday I made um, what's that called? I made, I made manwich sandwich. I made some manwich because I had some chopped meat in the refrigerator, and I decided I'm gonna have. Well, I had one on a sandwich with some cheese, one sandwich, and then I wanted some more, but I but I made I took me a, a cucumber because I didn't want to make a whole salad, so I took a cucumber. And I cut the cucumber up, and I had it with some with the rest with another little handful of uh, of the manwich, and it was good. And I found myself satisfied. And uh, you know what? And I'm realizing potato chips and that kind of stuff. Even though you might want it, it's not it's not satisfying. You must have your vegetables, and I've been really lacking in doing that. And I need to have my vegetables because that also. Is not good for, and you get sick like that. What do you say? The sandwich. What do you say about a sandwich? Mm. What did Mr. Timmy say? He said a sandwich is a sandwich, but a manwich is a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a manwich is a meal. It was delicious too, Timmy. It was good. It's a catchphrase. Wow. <laughs> I had almost forgotten that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was good. But Sam, that was good. The manwich was really, really good. So what I'm gonna do, push this up. Still trying to come, it still didn't come to pressure yet. 
They're still thinking about going to pressure, but it hasn't done it yet. Why would that be? Because there was a lot of water in here. Mm. A lot. So, I'm cutting that up. And I'm going to put this on in something. I'm going to find something to put this in. There's going to be virtual summer school dream here. No. You got to work? I did not hear anything like that. I think it's... You can what does that mean, virtual? Here. Volunteer? Or you can volunteer and get paid. Oh. You know what I mean? I mean hey, they don't want to mine. No volunteer. They ain't going to pay somebody. Are they kidding? Then you can decide <laughs> you if you want to. <laughs> volunteer? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't want to put... That thing's going to be too big. Ah. Uh, let's see what I have. Y'all have to see me get up here and get it. Yeah. I'll just use this for now. I use this for now. I'll change it over later. Okay. Do you have Canada. any strawberries? No, I have raspberries. Uh, I don't really like the raspberries. What, you put pineapple and the strawberries together? Yes. Well, that will work. You can always still go to Stop and Shop. I could. What did he say? But I'm not. What, what did he say? He said, Steffi Fish, what year did John John pass away? Anthony and I were talking about him the other day. Uh, he passed away in 1999. 1999. 1999. In January, January of 1999, right after his birthday. Mm-hmm. He was 40. He was 33. He was 33 when he passed away. He just turned 33. Yeah. I was just talking to that knucklehead about that. That's why I remember. And he said, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I said, you, dude, you don't get yourself together. Your, your father died when he was 44. You ain't going to make that. I just said that to that boy. I said, you ain't going to make it. And you get your shit together. Excuse me. <laughs> and he didn't. Hard head. He, I know he hear me now. You gonna say, oh, I step, yeah, hard head, hard head, make a sore ass. Mother. Yep. We are alive. I know. <laughs> he was hard head. <laughs> See, he even says uh, no cursing. I said I, I, I didn't curse. You know I can curse Timmy, <laughs> but that wasn't a curse. <laughs> Timmy, you know I don't know if you know Timmy. Uh, um. Who's that? Miss Moore? Mariah? Mariah Moore says hi. Hi, hi, Mariah. Her. Timmy, I don't know if you know, but Cheryl died. You know Cheryl, right? My niece? Cheryl passed away. I know you know her. Everybody knows my, my family. Hey, Nikki, how are you? No fun watching. You make food and we can't enjoy it. Listen, yeah. you can always social, social stop distance. by and we will give you a social distance. Social place. distancing. Social <laughs> distancing. Yo, you saw what I'm going oh, I'm sorry. Nicole? Yeah, uh-uh. Not Nicole. Nikki. Her name is Nikki. <laughs> it's Nikki. <laughs> Timmy says that. hi, Nikki. <laughs> Timmy. Yeah, she probably sees him. She probably sees him. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is one of the Can't things I'm doing. Can't stop by. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's why you can't do social distance because everybody gonna hug each other and kiss each other because we haven't seen it. Even if we did see each other, you know, it's Nicole. It's Nikki, Timmy. It's not Nicole. It's Nikki. <laughs> she still don't understand she's Nikki. <laughs> don't call her Nicole. Call her Nikki. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to be together. We can do it all on the Zoom thing. <laughs> yes, but they won't get food that way. Yeah, they don't want food. I'm sorry that I can't, I can't mail it to you. No, that would not. We have to come good. to the house and I'll put it on the steps. That's what we'll do. Okay, now finally it's up to pressure. And I mean, I got that 15 minutes. Bit. Yeah, it took a minute to get there. But it's on pressure. What is it good? Uh-huh. 
I'm eating gum right now, but I guess so. Mm. Delish. How many points do you think? I don't I mean, know. how many pounds did you think the pineapple was? Yeah, maybe two pounds. In total, two pounds. And my watermelon was maybe five pounds. Maybe five pounds. It's good. It's it delicious. Could be colder. Well, but. yeah, but it was. I just it had to stay out till it got cold. So, okay, my pineapple it is has done. To stay out. That's my pineapple. Before you cut it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, you can't put it in the refrigerator. Until you to, cut it. Yeah, it has to get right. I didn't know that. Yes, it has to get right. What did we say? It got to get right. You can't just cut it. Are you gonna put some pineapples on the ribs? Now that sounds. Oh, nice. now that's an idea. That's an idea. That sounds really good. Actually, uh, you know, you can certainly eat it with it. I don't think I'm putting it on there, but that's a good idea, Timmy. Ah, oh, I don't know. You you grown, Timmy. You got ideas. <laughs> I have pineapple shrimp fried rice yesterday. It was delicious. Pineapple shrimp. Yeah, pineapple shrimp fried rice. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna get ready to do my to do my potato salad, and I'm gonna put it in here for a second. I like it hot. Stick it in here just for like. Be careful with the eggs. You put it in like 30 seconds. It be the eggs might explode. Put it in for 30 seconds. I like it a little warmer. Before I start. Mommy, can I have a cup, please? A cup. And a napkin. Here's a cup. There's Thank a cup. You. There's a napkin. Thanks. And I'm going to get ready to do. Okay, one more second. 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Now, this is my potato salad. Now what I'm gonna do is move up, move these, excuse me, move these um, eggs over. First of all, and get me a fork. Try that first. Looks delicious. All right. Mash it. You guys know I mash my. Some people don't like it mashed. That's how we like it. That's how I'm gonna eat it. The way we like it. Okay. When I mash it. I don't like them chunks. I like it this way. Oh, Timmy commented when he went to get water that it's the semi-chef in him. <laughs> yeah, I guess you was a chef. I didn't see you doing all this in Monroe Street, Timmy. I didn't even see you come out and, and barbecue with us on Monroe Street. I never saw that, Tim. Man, I was talking to my friend today. And she said, this working from home has given her back years on her life. <laughs> and I had to laugh because she right. <laughs> it's giving me back years on my life not to be going out there. Oh, my I mean, God. Well, you had a really long commute. My commute was negligible. Yeah. And to be honest, I've been working so much more. Do you know I was working like Friday evening? Oh, no, Thursday evening, like late. Like six what was you doing? I'm trying to help this girl write this paper. Like, see that? The teachers are so dedicated. I think everyone, honestly, is really more dedicated to our job being home than we was. Oh, uh, we would always be uh, in the backyard. Oh, yeah? At the Griffins, is that what he said? In the backyard? Love grilling, not oh. the Griffins. Oh you, oh, oh, you guys were in your backyard down the street there. What number was that? What was the number of your house? Uh, like four or seven? I don't know. Something like it was a single digit number. I know that. Or what was it? Eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was a single digit number. Yes. Cause I had a, before you guys moved down, I, was, I had a friend that lived down there. Her grandma lived down there, the Reeves. And I remember being in that house. It's an actually very nice house downstairs and all that it was really nice i remember that house and i guess you could work you could do it in the backyard over there yeah i still never seen you do it <laughs> timmy i never seen you do it <laughs> that's really 
not kind. I never saw you do it, Timmy. We're going to have enough ribs and potato salad to last us for a few days, which is good. Because that's the other thing. I'm working, and then when I'm finished working, even if it's 5 o'clock, I'm ready to eat. Now, I ain't ready to be cooking at 5 o'clock. I'm ready to eat at 5 o'clock. And then because I'm working, I can't be cooking at 5 o'clock unless I put something on, you know, in a, in a slow cooker or something like that. You know, and I have to plan it. And that may happen, too, you know. You know, you think I'm ready you're going to be back at work you know. in September? Uh, I mean, the fall is better slow cooker weather, personally. Well, what, what they told, what the other thing is, they said they're, we're going to start online. Start classes online. For with, September? For September. They already said that. Oh. It's going to begin online. Hence, we because of the social distancing, we're going to be starting on, in, in September online. And then, you know, it's just it's flu and cold season during that time anyway. So I don't see us finishing I don't see why we would go to work when it's cold and flu season. So I personally don't see us, I don't see us going back until maybe next fall if they get this thing together. If And I don't even see the reason, I don't see the point, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cold and flu season. And I'm telling you, I was talking to my friend today and I told her, I said, you know what? If Corona wasn't around anymore, it was all gone and you know that today. Tomorrow is all gone. No more Corona. Everybody can go back to what they were doing. You're not going to go back to what you was doing. Because I'm telling you right now, them big companies who have big mortgages or whatever and buildings and stuff like that, especially if they don't own them and they have rent or whatever they want to call it, mortgage, whatever they want to call them, I am telling you right now, them people could say, my people could work from home. That's what they're going to say. A lot of them is going to know that their people can work from home and absolutely no reason to come in there. You're going to save on rent. You're going to, you're going to save on rent. I'm telling you. And, and electricity and, and maintenance and, and building maintenance, you know, facilities. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if we already started opening up a new change and people are going to work from home. And unfortunately, for those who are in facilities of any sort of way, uh, they're going to have to, they should learn to go get retrained right now. Because I'm telling you, facility people who are working, those are going to be the people that's not going to have any work. And I'm telling you right now, because there ain't nobody, unless you work in a hospital where you really like need to have people in there, I'm telling you now. Job already told us uh, we'll be home, but I feel, yeah, yeah. Gabby, I believe you. I believe you. At first, that's at first that's what uh, the director said. We're going to be doing this for the unforeseeable, for the foreseeable future. That's what they said. So that made me go buy another monitor. <laughs> Did you? Yes, I at bought it. No, I bought it from uh, Amazon. Mm. But I got me another monitor, and Perry hooked it up for me yesterday. Man, how could you ever have lived without that thing? A I got two, monitor. a second monitor, so I can swipe my stuff over to the side when I'm working on two different things. I went, oh my God, it is wonderful. Oh I'm my God. Also. Oh man. Even if, you know, even if you think, mine I think only cost $100. Yeah, it's a whole new world, Tiffany. I'm like, oh my God, two monitors or more than that? Where well, you can move your stuff around and you can just, oh God, so much more efficient. Oh man, so I only got one monitor. You have three? Wow, I love it, don't you love it? Oh, I, was, I was used to working with one stupid monitor and I had to print stuff out so I could put things back into another system because you can't see it. So I had to print it out so you can look at it. It's a waste of paper. Man, oh man, oh, it, it's the, you, you, had, you had two in your office? Girl, you know you wasn't working for the BOC child. <laughs> We need two. You you can save paper. Of course you're gonna save paper because you don't have to print stuff out. I was like, wow, wow. I work so much better. Oh my god. If we we can't go back to that old way, this is this makes so much more sense. Ah, uh, and I'm learning stuff. I'm not learning because of them. I'm learning because I want to know to make my, to, I figure out I should do something different. So I'm teaching myself things. And again, that, that's another reason why I'm, 
um, like still working maybe that night because I I'm teaching myself stuff and I learned just learned something else so I'll go in there and do my work and I'll do it but I'm, I did learn something new that I learned so I mean wow when I tell you oh my god <sighs> who could work with one monitor Jesus <laughs> and the payroll girl we, we, we talk all the time and she's like I missed my second monitor man she better get you she better go get her another monitor period and get just pay the hundred dollars and get you another monitor because it'll make her whole life so much easier. And because we're going to be doing this for a while. I don't see her going back. Where she she work in the city too. What are we, we going to do? So, man, uh, I say get yourself another, a second monitor and make your life so much easier. Mm. I'm like, this is that simple? You know, and I have a, um, a, a what is that? Um, a Mac, what's that? A Mac Air? Yes, the MacBook Air. I have a MacBook Air, I have an iPad, and I have a PC. So, you know, I can actually go into different systems if I'm on my, either way, I can go into two different systems, but it doesn't, it's not the same as having two monitors while you're working, you know, because I'm looking down at this and looking up at that, there are two different systems and whatever. Man, this thing is like the bomb. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me tell you. Now I've mashed this up. I'm going to put some more seasoning in here while that cooks. Um, what I got now? I need celery seeds. Let's see. No, I got celery seeds in here. Yeah. There we go. Here's some celery seeds. I need celery seed. <gasps> that was a lot. That's okay. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Cause I thought I had to, this thing had the um, top on it, but it didn't. But it's okay. I got a lot in here, but it's I can. Okay. It'll work I can, itself out. Yeah, we can. It'll work itself out. I'll just move move it all around. Move it out. You guys didn't see what I did. Let me put pull, pull myself back down. Uh, come on, come over here and come down. That was like. I mean, at least it wasn't pepper. Yeah, or even pepper. Pepper's all right. See, I put a oh, lot no, of celery no, seed in, but I like a lot of celery seed anyway. And I had it all in like one spot over there. But you see, this is what you do when you cook. You can fix it. You can fix it. And so I am fixing it. So there we go. There go my celery seed all mixed up in here. Then I'm going to put in some onion powder, which I have over here, and some pepper. Onion powder and pepper. And some onion powder. Sprinkle a little of that in there. There we go. Then some pepper. And I need some relish. Okay. That's enough pepper. Relish. I know I got relish over here. Uh, you don't have relish in the fridge? No. Not the one I want to use. So I got some relish right here. I like this one. This is the one I like. This is the relish I like. The Sweet Relish by B and G. I like this particular one. Timmy, they got this one down south? That's the one I like. Yeah, I have no strength in my arm. There we go. I would have opened it for you, but you got it. Okay. The whole jar. The whole jar of Relish. Uh, the boardwalk's open again. Just the boardwalk? The, the beach too. Who's that? What, who said something? No one said something. Yeah, somebody just said again. something. Oh, he said, I think so. Okay, good, good, good. If I go in there, if I go in that direction, I want to know they got my ingredients. It's I nothing like... you would go down there. And it's now not... if we could just stay in the house. Well, that means I don't want to work forever. <laughs> That's why. My salary is still my salary. When I stop working, I gotta see how it looks. Because my salary is still my salary. Yes, but you can really extend working now if you want to. Now, yeah. If you learn how to work from home. Eh, maybe. I would maybe want to work three days a week, though. I don't really want to work. I don't really want to work five days well, a week. Do they hire people like F status, like they do at the DOE? No. Because our assistant principal who retired. Works three days a week now. That means you gotta get a waiver. Uh, 
of some sort. I don't know about all that. And you know, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know how, I don't know what's going to happen with the BEOC. Because we, you know, I don't know how we're going to serve our, um, the kind of students that we have. I don't know how we're going to Do they have it. computers, those people? Uh, when students some of them, typically get? Some of them, I do not think they really do have computers, you know. So, and at this moment, they're not really thinking about school. <laughs> they really think, our, my student, our student population in general is, is thinking, our student population in general is thinking about surviving. You know, the truth of the matter I mean, is, I think that's you know, what a lot of people are thinking I think about, they, but... my student population is thinking about surviving and I mean, for a, lot of a whole lot of us, a whole lot of us or them, more than them, I think God, I'm telling you, def we are definitely blessed. But a lot of people are just thinking about surviving. You know, they're I not. I think that's what a lot of our students' families are thinking about. And, and yeah, the students. And they were and some of the, complaining all the time about them. Mm -hmm. Not logging on, not logging on on time. It's like, I don't even know how many computers these people have. But if you yeah, and kids, a lot of people, I understand, like, there are only, like, one, maybe one computer in the entire family, and the mother got to use it, or the father has to use it, or both have to use it, and the kids have to use it. If you got more than one kid, how many, you know, there's, you can't, they can't all use the computer at the same time. So, you know, there's a, there's an issue like that. So, but, I mean, if, if it's possible that, you know, people can get more computers in their house and they got a decent internet um, system, uh, I believe this thing can really kind of work, you know. But at the moment, and then kid people, uh, parents, anyway, parents who, um, who have to help their, their, their kids aren't doing, can't really do it. But I guess if they got online, somebody else could help them, you know. <laughs> So if they really got online, if the, kid, if the parent makes their kid do what it's supposed to do, I guess they can they can work like that, you know. Mm, I mean, it depends. Because, like, your teachers have to teach the classes they're supposed to be teaching, which is how I ended up helping someone well after the school day was over, because that's when I was actually available for that. Well, but if you, if you, if they can do, if um, the, the lesson can be taught and be, replayed by somebody I like mean, a YouTube, then, you know... Some I'm, people are putting up... It, there's no standard format yet. Some people are putting up lessons that are recordable mm -hmm. and that people can just, you know, watch again and again until they get it. And I think that's a damn yeah, good um, idea. But you some know? people are not. Some people are only doing lives and the lives are not be able to be recorded um well, I think that they should start to do things that should be able, that would be able to be recorded because that gives everybody a chance to learn. You can go back and look at the thing and see where you, you know, maybe I may have missed a step. And one thing about math, if it's math, I know at least math, you can't miss steps. You miss a step, you're going to totally lose the whole thing. So I, I think that they really should be thinking of, well, how can somebody like look back at this? Yes, you know, a lot of their math grades really fell apart. Yeah, because if you if you if you can look back at it, then you can actually keep up. In fact, you don't even have to be in class on time if you able if you a little if you can get back and go look at at what you missed. Now I think this probably needs a little salt. What is he saying? Oh, he's gonna sign off. You gonna sign off now, Timmy? Thanks for coming. Car is about to come on. Yes, oh. I fell in love with the sport. Okay. Thank you, Timmy. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Timmy. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you. Uh, what she say? What's Donna say? Have Duke? you ever used Duke's Mayo? Donna, I ain't never seen Duke's Mayo. Not in the store around, around it here. It's different than Hellman's. It's widely available in, in Southern, but I heard yeah. it can be found here in New York. I have no, never I seen it. So. I've never seen it. I've seen it like on YouTube where they do use it, but I've never seen it. I wonder what it does taste like. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, you know what? You know, DK, you know I'll try it. We could probably <laughs> order it from online. You know I would Just try it. See. There we go. There's my mayo in here. I do think it needs a bit of salt. Just a little bit. 
But I think there's my potato salad. Onion powder or onion salt or something in it, Ari? Onion powder. Never onion salt. Never. Unless I'm putting it on some meat. Never do I use onion salt. Who is that that just said something? The new math is the devil. I mean, I don't even understand why we're using the new math. Like, I used old math to help them answer some questions. The answer was right. I don't know. Like, if they were looking for work, then that could have been wrong. Like, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show your work. Show your work. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. Show your work. But you know what? If, if, as long as the answer is right, how, why does it matter how you got to it? You right? know, that's what I'm, that's I'm not what understanding it. As like, long as the answer is right, how does that, what does that mean? Hi, hey, Walter. How are you? That's Walter Tapley. Yes, I know. I've been sending your link out. Hi, Walter. How Hello, are you? Mr. Tapley. How are you? How are you? Yep. Tastes good to me. I would actually still add a little more pepper. And we good to go. A little bit more pepper on Pepper's here. Pepper's always yum. Yeah, pepper is good. With some pepper on there. I think this might be. Oh no, I did have some Good, good. He said he's well, thanks. Very I'm good. Glad you're well. Very good. 1977's in the house. <laughs> I mean, you're just shouting out years. Mm -hmm. Like really. It was a good Must year. We do that? It was a good year. That was a good year. I don't think we need a shout out. There here. we go. There we go. So. Mm. Something beats. Oh, he said yes. <laughs> okay, now it's finished. It's, it's done. It's time for me. Did you use? Huh? That looked like a lot. Oh, there was hardly no mayonnaise in here. It was empty. Okay. It wasn't a lot. I like oh, your hot mommy. Thank you. What did I get you from JCPenney? Really? Uh, Online? Yeah, what are you doing? JCPenney. Recently? Uh, in the fall. Oh. Uh, well, fall is done. You know, that's another thing. Another thing about this, this, this working from home. I don't got to buy no new clothes, man. <laughs> I don't have to buy no new clothes. I don't have to get dressed. I don't have to. This is great. I don't have to do none of that stuff. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Oh, the weather? Uh, right now, it's pretty. Right now, uh, the sun it's came out. It's a little out. chilly. Though. But it's a little, a little breezy. Yeah. But, you know, you know how it is around here it's by the like beach. It's warm. But, uh, you know, but it's, it's, it's nice out. It's pretty out, you know. But it was, looked like it was going to rain this morning. Now, I'm going to take my... my I'm gonna take this back away because I do not. Uh, Tiffany, it's hot. Where are you at, Walter? Where are you? I don't know if you guys can see, but there it goes. The steam is coming out. Oh, in Syracuse? Really? It's warm in Syracuse? Wow. Wow. See, upstate. <laughs> so, um, did they op did they open things up up there? Um, where you are, seventy eight? Well, seventy eight is beautiful. Seventy eight is absolutely perfect weather. Not hot. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't know how hot it is today, right now. Well, it, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's sixty three degrees. Yeah, sixty three over here. Well, amen. Right, right to. Okay, my my thing is coming out. It's almost ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna turn the broiler on. It smells really good. Like the steam. It's smells starting good. to open. Okay. Judy so said the steam smells good. They're starting to open. Are they opening any um like nail places and hair places? I, it, I don't know how long, I don't know how that will really work. Not but, yet. It so smells how's good. How's it going? Oh, yeah. yeah. It smells good out Not here. Not yet. Uh-oh, Perry says it smells good out here. Yeah, we about to eat. And then he stole a pineapple. Look at that. You did. He was just blasting us. All right, I'm going to put it on the oil. 
Okay, I got my brother going on. Yeah, this man, this, this smell, this, this smell, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Do you use a, a, a um a pressure cooker, an instant pot? Have you ever used one? If you didn't, you need to try it. Your sister? Who is this, who is your sister? I don't remember her name, but you know how, you know her. Do I know her? Yeah, we know her. Really? Yeah. How old is she? Old enough. Well, how old is she to, uh, um, uh, Walter? And what was her name? Man, I'm sorry to hear that, Walter. Wow. Hope it wasn't that Corona. Tara. Tara. Oh, I think I remember her. Was she living? 38? What? It was, it was a Corona? Oh man, was it Corona? I think it was a little, a bit of that, right? She oh, in 2009. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very sorry to hear that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's still, it's still hard. I think I remember her. She was really young then in 2009. Well, that was almost 10 years ago. Wow. She was 38 in 2009? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, so she would have been 48. So she's much older than you guys. Okay. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's it's hard. Awful. Man. That's hard. Wow. You have a friend with that right now. And the younger you are, it's harder it is with the, to beat that cancer. It's hard. Because you young people can't, can't do it. All right, well, this is this is ready to go in. See, guys, you see that it's really done. You see the bones right here? It's that done. Looks really good. It's done. Could have probably only stayed in for two minutes. It's really well, done. It'll be like even. I mean, like, what are you gonna use? Can you put on some safety gloves or something for yourself? Well, I'm taking them first. I'm gonna put them on my. See what I'm doing? I'm gonna put them on this sheet. Who said what right here? Uh, Walter says, I've been in Syracuse for 20 years. Oh my God. Looking good, he says, I think about the food. Wow. <laughs> You've been here for, well, you guys have been, you guys have been wrong for the other one that long. <laughs> Did wow. you go to college in Syracuse, Walter? You went, you went to college out there? Mm -hmm. Let me figure this out. This ain't gonna come out nice. Walter's well, is yummy. Mm, thank you, Walter. When you come back, and he said yes to my question. Oh, you went and you stayed. You went and you stayed. That's nice. The ch the houses are cheaper out there in, in in Syracuse. I think everything is like a bit cheaper than it is in the city toward this way, right? Because it seems that my uh, our funding source really feels like we, we are exaggerating about the cost of things, but we're not. What do you say? OCC? OCC. Something community college? Yes, I don't know what the O stands for. <laughs> Oh, I figured it out. Got one out. Okay. Oh, I don't still like that you have no gloves on, but I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty much of a pro of not putting on gloves. Yeah. And, and not mine. And, and and getting my work done. Who said that? Cooking with oh, the cook, cooking with the mom. mom life. Hi, cooking with the mom life. How are you? We have ribs tonight. To keep the live up. We are, huh? On Onondaga? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Onondaga Community College? That doesn't sound right, but. That's in Is that in Syracuse also? I think so. Okay. I got two on here. Um, the mom life says, I'm good in you. I'm hanging in there. 
I'm hanging. Thank God. Thank and God. Walter says yes. Oh, uh, so you did say it right. I don't what? know. Why does it, why does upstate sound like, the, the, those names sound Indian like, you know? Um, because we, well, I don't really want to get into that, but you know how many Indians used to live in, or Native Americans used to live in New York before we decided mm -hmm. to move them? Shall oh. we say? Well, see, there's a reason. I was like, because all of the state, all of the, the towns and stuff sound. There's a whole, like, reservation of Native American, yeah, see? like, um, uptown and Inwood. Like, in Inwood, Inwood, Manhattan, not Inwood, New York. Oh, oh, really? Or not Inwood here. Really? Really? I got, I got a, um, I went to uh, Walmart. Oh, there's an Indian Manhattan. nation near you, Walter? That's interesting. What is this? Is this for me? I thought about you. You did? I don't think I'm going to eat this now because I've been thinking about me too and I've been thinking that you have to stop that it. I have got to stop eating yes. like the world is ending. Yes. Me, you and me both. You and me both. You got to stop eating like the world is ending. That is correct. That is correct. I was a little late for my duties because I was at a virtual Weight Watchers meeting, which I love. Not actually having to get out and go to Weight Watchers. Yo, this is like 23 points. This is all my points for the day. Thank you, but no thank you. This Wait, is Patty LaBelle pudding, though. I don't know. I, don't know. I may have it's to try it. So this try is not it. the one we normally get, I don't think. I don't know. It was at Walmart. So no, there's my ribs, like guys. Type. There they go. Those are the ribs. And they're going in. They're going in the oven. I need a brush. Okay, I have a brush. Now here's this new sauce. I don't know. What are you not knowing about it? I never take, tried it, but I'm going to try this sauce. How's that? Weber? Yeah. What made you decide to get it? I saw it in Walmart. I, tr I try things. I will try stuff and see if I like it. So, and I also put on this this time, there's a new thing. Wait, do I have it right here? You know what you could have used also? The Trader Joe barbecue rub, but you don't have any. I don't have any. What? That's delicious. It's like barbecue, garlic, and coffee. Coffee? It's a. It's really good, mommy. You hear Sharita? Sharita always time. comes up with stuff. Always. Like, what is that? Coffee? All right. um, Walter says they are part of the turtle clan. This is all very fascinating. Uh, when I used to be involved with fourth grade, you learned a lot about the Native Americans, but I don't know much anymore. Yeah, some things still come back to me in my 62-year-old self. Some of that stuff comes back. Well, I'm gonna brush this on. I don't like a, I, I, I like barbecue sauce, but I like a thin layer of barbecue sauce on there. Not See? me so much, but whatever. I mean, I'm not cooking, so beggars can be choosers. So you want to just just brush it on like that. You see that? Guys, you can see that? There we go. That's how I'm brushing it on. Just like that. Don't forget the edges. She, Sharita says, don't forget the edges. Put a little bit more on the edges. Then I'm going to turn it over and put more on. But once I get one side, I'm going to turn the other side on and get the other side. So we got edges and stuff going on this side. Like, oh, they don't even know. Like, yes, there you go. She's, she's pointing. Look at that. Pointing. All right, she's going in first. I don't know if they all can go in, but she's going in first. I see you do one side, broil that, and then flip it over and then put the other side. That's right. That's really up, right up at it. That makes sense. This is right up at it. Your broiler's on the top? Yep. Some people's broilers are on the bottom though, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how you really can broil on the bottom, but yes, I think they are on the bottom. So, I'm gonna put it in for a minute. And I'm gonna brush the other one while this is getting done. You gotta work quickly. 
kind of got to, every time your broiler is on, you got to work quick. So how many minutes in the broiler are we thinking? Should I put a timer on? No, it, it doesn't even, I have to like look at it because the timer don't matter. Sometimes it just, it just goes. <laughs> so here's the other two. You really, I need, I need somebody, y'all, I need somebody to feed with all this, with all these ribs. There's a lot of ribs. DK, you can come by and get some. I'll put it outside for you. I don't know if she can eat the sauce though, because it's like sugary. Yeah, maybe. It says no, this says no extra, no high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, but it's not probably regular sugar. Yeah, probably, probably. But. Coffee is good on ribs, is what Tiffany says. Ugh, really? You people. It's like. Yep. Somehow, Tiff, y'all must be related. <laughs> It's not like coffee coffee. I, I can't explain it. I'm going to bring it up next time. I forgot actually that you're making this. I mean, I knew what you're making, but I actually thought you had your own. No. You I know. like it on the chicken. Well, let's see. Well, I, don't to, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a minute. I order it from Amazon. They don't, Trader Joe's is always allegedly out of it. So I've just been ordering it from Amazon. I'm calling okay. it a day. But Trader Joe's sells but things it's, to it's a Trader Joe. Oh, Trader uh, Joe sells things to Amazon? Certain things if you know what you're looking for. Oh, ah, right. See? Who knew that? I didn't know that. I did. I did not know that. Oh, I sent, by the way, prizes mm -hmm. to the students from Amazon and yeah. they've come. I uh, sent them like a three pound M&M's uh -huh. in a little container and they arrived. The oh, mom right. texted me that he was so happy really yeah. good see there's another way to do this thing without actually going in a classroom there's a whole nother way so expensive though like it would have been so much cheaper they if you had eminence to give him well you know they need to they have to start paying if they're not paying rent they're gonna have to pay us for all of this <coughs> stuff we do they don't have to do that you know they are gonna have to do that okay what are you looking like so yeah, I ordered it literally Thursday morning, right after the game. And then... And when, how, how long did it take? She texted me yesterday. Oh, yesterday was uh, seven. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> We're not knowing what day it is anymore, by the way, people. We're not knowing what day it is. You know. And, and I'm like, let me tell you guys, if you guys do Instant Cart, let me tell you. If you do Instant Cart, Make sure, make sure that you check your receipt, okay? Make sure you check your receipt. Seriously, on my way in about 30 minutes. Please put it enough in for Stan. And for Stan, yeah, no problem. Come by, I got plenty. So I'll put enough for you and Stan. <laughs> just, just call me, I'll get it for you. As soon as it's done, you can have some. We'll put it right outside. I even have probably those styrofoam, uh, 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 plates to put them in for you guys. So, you know, since we can't do it this way, we'll do it that way. <laughs> no problem. I got plenty, seriously, really. But if you guys are doing instant card, make sure you check your receipt. First of all, make sure they give you everything you ask for and then check your receipt and make sure they charge you the correct price and then check your credit card that you put it on to make sure it was charged correctly because a lot of this, they, they're really not, they're really not doing what they're supposed to do with that. It's, it's annoying to me. Really annoying. Make sure you check. Oh, I found something for the backyard. Oh, here we go. Now, I'm going to put these two in while that, this one is going. I'm going to put these two in. There we go. Come on in. And then you're going to do the other side, right? Yep. I'm turn the other side, turn it over. And I'm going to do it from over here. I'm not putting it over there. Uh, you guys can see me. I don't know. Do you need this? Yes, I need that. See, can you see me? Uh, uh, yeah. I can see it. Okay. I'm, I'm at the stove now because it just makes sense. It just makes sense. So I'm gonna do it this way. Turn it over. I need help. 
I need yeah. help with this. That's what I need. I need help to turn it over. One hand will not do it. One utensil will not do it. So I will turn it this way. Come on over. There we go. You ever have one of those squeezy flipper things? That don't help. I, I do it my way. I do it my but that way. But that would have been like the actual thing to use, right? People do that, but what the actual thing to use is what works. I guess. You know? Zana says hearts and hugs and oh. a mask. <laughs> yes, we have to have our mask. <laughs> now, I... On I, Jackie's I, mask on her Facebook page looks so very fashionable, and I don't think so. Real or she? I think like, I, I don't uh, think that's real. I think she put photos on it. Yeah, she photoshopped that. I don't think that one's real. So there we go. We painted it on here. It's all painted on, ready to go. Looks delicious. Can't wait. So after that, when the other one comes out, oh, I had sausage and eggs. Mm -hmm. And on a on an English muffin. I see. And that is all I ate today. I had frosted flakes. Frosted flakes? Mm-hmm. Mm. You must be starving. Because you had no protein. I had milk in my frosted flakes. I can't have milk like that. I can't do milk that way. Turn it this way. So all, all sides get done. There we and go. I have and you know what I'm, you know what I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do, even though it's, I'll well, put this one at the bottom, so that once I pull out the one from the top, I can put it up at the bottom. It's not gonna hurt nothing. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I'll pull it up as soon as the other one gets done. You know, it's gonna be under there another two minutes or so, and then we, there we go. Guys, I'm so glad you all came. I at least see 15 people. That's good. Thank you guys so much for coming. I do appreciate it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes. Please Tell like, comment, share, subscribe. I have like um last time I looked, uh, we may be back next week. Because I'm getting a little more in a rhythm. So we might we might come back again next week. Uh, but I'm gonna probably try to make something fast if I can. Faster. Faster. Yeah, if I can. But um I think I got 4,930 subscribers, so I'm almost at 5,000, and God would never have thought. You know, I had thought. a dream that you made a cookbook last night. Sh Sharita said she had a dream I made a cookbook. You know what? And I was, I was looking at something about called note, Notepad or Note, note Something that, that I guess is part of, of the Microsoft package. Anyway, so you can do your notes, and it says you can do recipes and things like that. I was just happened to be looking at that. Why? I don't know. But only a recipe book has to come when I don't really got to work five days a week. <laughs> and by the way, I won't be working five days a week because I'm going to take some of my time. I can't carry all my time anyway. So I'm going to take chunks out so I don't have so much time when I'm really ready to retire. But working from home, what the heck when i say i'm not going to be in the office i ain't gonna be in the office i'm not checking nothing i got to train myself to do that that's the hardest thing i didn't check a thing on friday hey gabby wow i remember when you said you were gonna start this channel yeah i'm almost at five thousand. that's right i, I wasn't even gabby I, i'm shocked <laughs> i am shocked i am shocked and if I if I'm a little more consistent, I get you know like a hundred dollars a month from the thing from the YouTube or from the whatever that call from their commercials that's on there. So I'm okay, <laughs> it's okay. And I guess the more I do it, the better it will be because people go back and look at my old videos, which is I have to make more regular videos than the Sunday um, dinners. I need to do a little more of my regular videos. So thank you, thank you. I tell you, I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked, and I, but I'm going to make some more regular videos like, you know, like how to make, how to scramble an egg in the morning, <laughs> the things that I, that I would do and I do every day, how do I do this? Perry loves my tea that I make, it's simple, 
I don't know what's a big deal with it, but they love my tea that I make in the morning. And I'm actually, Gabby, I haven't even had any coffee. Like, I think I made coffee one, maybe two times since I've been home. I don't have coffee. I just drink some tea in the morning and keep it moving. So I think I weaned myself off of coffee too. How about that? I'm I telling you, like this coffee. is this is the life. This is the life. Stay home. Take your sick days, vacation days, cop hours, whatever. This is just the this is nice life for me right now. I'm good. <laughs> I just got to get myself out of this house. That's what I got to do. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, turn it again. Put it one more time in there for just a little longer. I'm gonna switch it over. So, Gabby, what kind of um, what kind of software, what kind of a uh, program do you think I can do? I can make um, somebody going to bed. Oh, that's okay. I can see. I'm like, I can see somebody, but it's it's um, down. He's taking the garbage out. <laughs> Um, so what kind of, like, what kind of a program or kind of way do you think I could do things a little easier, uh, than the way we used to do it when I was working? Cause that mail merge, man, I should have learned to do that thing earlier. Whew. I think I'm doing a little something wrong toward the end, but it didn't matter cause it, it just took so much less time doing it the way we did it. So I, but I'm thinking more, more mail merges in my life. <laughs> So, and we are now, we're using, um, what's it, Office 365? So there's folders and stuff in Teams. I don't know what the heck it's doing. I'm trying to figure that mess out too, you know. But, you know, I like to keep my stuff in, 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 in folders so we can go back and find it when we need it. But, you know, we'll see how that really goes. Now that's great. Yeah, yeah. Now we're doing 365. So... Hey. What were you doing before? I mean, like, Please. 365 has been around for... We wasn't ever using no 365. Why? Never. Right never used no 365. We never used it. Who's that? Do not overcook the potato salad. Like, mesh. What's she... One, what is this? A 160-year-old grandmother? What? Oh, the... Yeah. Yes. It needs to be a little bit, you need to have a little more substance. It's, uh, I don't know what this is. It needs to have but a do not overcook the potato, mm -hmm. salad, mm -hmm. like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. My 160 year old grandmother's advice she did not eat any pork and she walked everywhere um, with something to protect herself, if alone, wink. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your advice. But, I will eat pork. <laughs> I like pork. And my, he didn't make it to 106, but he made it to 96. And he ate pork too. And he walked a lot. But they just ate better back then. They wasn't eating the I mean, McDonald's and stuff. Like, they had any more physical stuff. <laughs> but my dad was 106 when he passed away. So I get it. Excuse me, 96 when he passed away. So I get it. Well, let me tell you something. He's going to have him some pork. He would eat ribs in a second. In a, in a heartbeat. He would eat yeah, he been happy. You know who would also appreciate this food? Who? Your brother. Oh, Julian? I think so. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Probably. All right, so now I've turned it over. I'm putting some more sauce on. I'm actually gonna put some of this on there probably too. Finish this bottle. There it goes. Oh, nothing. That's Are you out of the sauce? I'm out of that sauce, but I'm not out of sauce. I never out of sauce, people. You, I have more food than the law allows, believe me. So I had to go in my pantry and take out what I got, because I really... What is it here? I'm not going to hurt myself, because it's going, it's going away from me. So I'm not going to hurt myself. Mm. So I have, I have food all in my pantry. So I'm, I've been trying, really trying to get this stuff out of my pantry and try to cook what I got like that. That's been my, one of my goals to try to use what a I got. Goal. A good goal is for sure. Maybe we can use some of the hair I have and you can rebraid my hair next week. Which hair? 
It's so you say? there. I'll braid it. You mean at the end like before? Like I did before? Not the new smaller. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made them in big plaques. Yeah, I did the big plaques for her last time. So, unless I'm doing Sharita's hair, I'll probably be back. Who is that? Tiffany. Unless I'm doing Sharita's hair. Oh, um, if she said no preservatives or fillers back in those days. That's right. That's true. That's and right. then, like, but I just feel like. <laughs> And, also, and no McDonald's back in those days. And then you couldn't really <laughs> microwave things. Like, you yeah. actually had to, like, heat things up. I right. don't know. I think you do something different. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ate, you, you had a garden. You cooked, you ate from your own garden. You didn't eat from the store in general. Um, I remember going to a grocery store that we called Tony's at the time. And we went every day to the store to get what my mother, whatever my mother wanted. So you're not having, you're right, it wasn't, nothing was frozen. My mother wanted some chopped meat. She sent us to, to Tony's, we got it and we ate it that day, you know, for the most part. We didn't have anything that we put in, a, kept in the refrigerator and we froze all the time and it wasn't there that long. And the chicken wings didn't look like turkey wings, you know. These things got huge. That wasn't a chicken wing. A chicken wing was a little tiny thing like that, you know. So I, I mean, I don't know, it's what they're putting in our food, you know, and, and, and all the waste, and that could be why this virus has come, you know. Uh, yes, less waste. Yep. And you bought only what you needed, exactly. We went to, the, we got to the store and got what, we, what mama told us to get, come back and mama cooked it. That's it, you know. I remember her making um, uh, corn, shucking the corn, and then we had a, uh, she made string beans with that. Oh, my God. Oh my God, it was good. But I, if she made thumb bacon, <laughs> yeah, it was good. But if she made bacon or something, my, she she just, you know, she had that can and she might put a little bit of that grease from there into the into the uh, um, into the uh, peas and uh, corn. Oh my God, that was good. That stuff was some good food. Okay, but that's not the, that's not the case here. We're not doing that. Like we're not doing that here. And that's what the problem is, more than anything. And walking, yes, walking is always good. If you can, and as long as I can, I will. I will be walking. All right, let's see what's going on over here. I'm gonna turn it that way a little bit. See what's going on. Actually, I might take it back down. Put a little bit more, put some more of this stuff on here. Sauce? Yeah, a little bit more sauce. Good, thank you. Should be like sauce. So I'll put a little bit more sauce on it. I'll give it like 30 seconds, really. <laughs> and we'll take that one out and put the other one on the top. There you go. And that's our dinner. Our dinner is like getting there. I'm sorry, I've been on almost, what, two hours? I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to be on this Hour long. <laughs> I didn't mean to be on this long, guys. I'm sorry, you know. I am sorry. I never like to keep you guys that long, especially for Sundays. But we yeah, are making this kind of a dinner, and that happens. All right, so I'm going to put you back up here. All right, stop making noise. Come on, go back up. Let that one get a little brown. I'm going to put just a little more sauce on here. Just a little bit more on the top. Here we go. There we go. There we go. So what you guys doing for the rest of the weekend? What y'all doing? Y'all gonna go to a park or or a beach or something like that? If those things are open. If it, if it's some yeah if it's open near you, you know. I mean I can't go to the casino. That's what I want to do. <laughs> the boardwalk's open again, though. But the boardwalk is open. Then I might, I might hit that tomorrow. I'm definitely going to go outside tomorrow. I am going outside. What I want to do is sit down in my office and soak my feet. <laughs> Did you get the baby peel thing? Or are you going to no. The yeah, I bought. I have that baby peel. You going? You what? She said you going for a walk or going fishing? Is that what you said, Gabby? Fishing? Where? You going fishing? Go, girl. Really? <laughs> That's wonderful. 
That's wonderful. Man, uh-huh. I can't wait to be retired. Oh. Well, I can't wait to like work three days a week and I'm good. <laughs> three days a week, I could, I could live with three days. Anything more, I don't really want to do. Whether you've been home or not, I don't want to. Three days, I want to be not working. Then the other few days, I can do whatever the heck I feel like doing. And I'm not on somebody's calling me or something like that. But man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. But I'm going to go for a walk probably tomorrow. I got to get out of here and just do, do something not to be in here. And I really need to switch my clothes out, my winter clothes, and put some my my summer stuff in, you know, like my shorts and things like that. I got to switch over. You know, I got to do stuff it like that. Because it really is that time. I would have probably already did this if I was working. And for now, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Been yeah, this. I've been wearing my sweats and and you know and my Saturday clothes and my sweet my T-shirts and whatever. I, right now. I think I think if I if I have to have a meeting or I'm in a meeting, I might put a different top on. You know. Oh, it's nice <laughs> to wear a nice top. Yeah, you just oh, that's right. Lipstick. You just have to get a nice top. Make sure your hair is done. So when they look at you, they know that they can only see right here. They can't see the rest of you. <laughs> and it hides all the fat that you just gained from all of this, all of this eating, eating whatever we want, thinking we're on some kind of vacation. <laughs> it's sick. It's sick, man. But I have to get myself together, get back outside, and get me some exercise. So I think tomorrow I'll be doing that. Uh, Tuesday, I got a meeting. But after the meeting, I'm going to try to get outside you know, while, uh, while I can. And I'm gonna keep just trying to get myself up and get outside and don't be spending so much time on work, on work things. And, may, and try to work more efficiently, which I'm learning to do, cause I, you know, I can't. <laughs> I have to learn something new, I can't work like this. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. But anybody else, what you guys doing for the rest of the week? What are y'all doing for the rest of, of tomorrow? And the weekend. Go on, fish me. Hey, hey, Gabby, you catch any fish? Do you catch any? And you clean your things? Gabby, you clean your fish? Ugh. I don't, I don't know. Cleaning them things. Mm -mm. I cook them, but I clean them? Mm -mm. I can't. It's the funniest thing, because my brother would bring home some fish. Well, my father brought it, gave, got it from somewhere. And they brought the fish home after they just after they just caught it. So it is delicious like that, you know. Uh, she made succotash. Yeah, Joshua. That's not Joshua. That's Jackie. <laughs> no. Daddy, you Jackie, YouTube use account. your own YouTube account. <laughs> That's Joshua. <laughs> it's uh huh. It's Make a new Gmail account and use yours. <laughs> Um, Cousin Stevie says, do it, cuz. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Listen, you came to the door, I can give you some food. <laughs> you come to the door, I can give you some food. But you can't come in. How about that? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I, you got to laugh. Let me tell you people, you got to laugh. You got to try to make the best of everything and keep smiling, keep yourself together. Don't let nobody aggravate you, you know, cause God, this is a time we're going through. Change is absolute. It's gonna happen no matter what. Change happened and this is what's happening right now. It's just change. You know, God wanted us to probably just sit down and listen to him. <laughs> you know, I'm the one, he the one in charge. Not, we ain't in charge of this, you know. And I'm so glad cause I'm truthfully, I needed a break i really needed a break and i'm like this is cool man and if i learn i want to do quickbooks online and learn how to do other things online and man i'm out i'm like i'm gonna be doing some other thing plus my cooking of course you know but i have to have people to eat y'all i can't be cooking and people ain't gonna eat so y'all gotta i gotta figure that one out i might have to just like cook less I have to cook a little bit less, but still, whatever I cook, we last for days. So I'm gonna have to cook maybe definitely less, and I'll probably have to. Maybe because I have you to be, probably have roast some of that too. What did you say? To. I could do what? Freeze some of it. 
Uh, yeah, but then it's freezing. I can't cook all the time because how am I going to make a video? I'm cooking. So what I have to probably do more than more than that is I have to I have to go. Okay, you are you are good and done. I think. What I have to do is um is give it away. I have to find somebody to give it to. So when I'm cooking, I have to just give it to somebody. Hand them I'm out. sure there are people who took our more than the link. Yeah, and that's what I have to do. I have to figure out who I when I'm cooking stuff who I can you know I can cut it off, give most of it away to people who would really want to, don't mind eating because it's too much food for us. Way, 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 way too much food. So if I'm making videos, I have to know where I'm going to, who's going to eat it when I'm finished with it and those people can enjoy. So if you live somewhere near me and I'm cooking, just you have to come and get it because I'm not following you, I'm not chasing you. The only person I will give it to, I will go to their house, is my friend Mike because Mike, can't he can't he's got ms so michael can't do it so other than that if you want some food come get it i can stick it outside for you or <laughs> whatever but come and get it i don't mind i really don't mind so i have enough for us and then the rest i will give away so i have to that's the other another you know thing in my head so how i'm gonna cook like that you know even this cake i want to make how much cake can i eat i can't eat that whole cake so when I make that cake, I'm gonna have to be able to give it to somebody that who will eat it. I may have to call Roland, gonna give it to his kids. They'll eat it. <laughs> but I gotta find someone who's gonna eat it, not just us, because we can't eat that much. You know, that this channel is making us bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. We gotta smile and I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna be making more videos so yeah, that I can put on. Oh, you release it. Oh, oh, good. Oh, that's nice. So it's just I, I hear, fun. I hear it's, um, it's like, it's, it's therapeutic to sit, you know, just to be out in the sun and fishing. I hear a lot of people just like to do it. It takes you to this other place. You know, you can really think out there. It's like taking a nice long walk, you know, so you, you clear your mind that way. So that's real good. I don't know. I might try that. I can go to, we can go to Inwood Park and fish. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in the Owen. Hello, Owen. How are you, Owen E? Yes, really not. I could imagine. I could imagine. Just go out there. It's just the whole day out like that. Oh. You see? And you're not spending money on anything. You're just going to the park. And you're out there just all day long. And you just feel better when you come home. You didn't spend a dime. You know, you kind of ain't gonna like that, but you didn't spend anything. You just went and did that, and you have a great day. You know, that is, that's where my mind is going these days. Can't spend a whole bunch of money. I'm gonna be a retired person. So, <laughs> so who is that? I said hello to Owen E. Hello, Owen E. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I do appreciate that. I really do. We've been on over 108 minutes we almost on two hours, almost on two hours. oh my god really making up for oh, all the rest we we've on. been on for a long time but we but have thank you for hanging with us yeah yeah yes like i said this month and this whole season has been a lot for me a lot for my family you know and me and uh you know so we, we, we we're trying to settle down again and family means everything to me everything gatherings of my family and friends mean everything to me and this is changing this is change we can't do this no more we so, have a Zoom party. Maybe I'll so have a Zoom birthday party. i don't know how christmas is going to look or thanksgiving <sighs> but i don't think all the people can come to my house <laughs> i can't see it i don't know i ain't getting no cold and flu season and then get this crap all over again so i don't know uh she's hardly in tune I'm hardly get to tune. Yeah, that's right, Gabby. I hardly, I haven't seen you, Gab, in a long time. Uh, Experiment with light meals. meals. Yes, we could. What, we, what kind well, of light meals? We watch your friendly meals, mommy. Man, it does, but it, I need it to taste good. It could taste good. I need it to I taste like good. Need, I feel like your mind is not open to the possibility. Well, I have to, I'll, I'll, we will try it, but it has to taste good. I can't do something that don't taste good. Again, I feel like your mind is not open. 
They have like a skinless buttermilk fried chicken that we can eat. Wow. That got way done. That's okay. Oh, I'm good. I don't think you heard me. Huh? There's like a skinless buttermilk fried chicken that we can eat. Fried chicken? How do you fry it? Oven fried. Oven fried? Oven oven fried? fried? You can use the air fryer, I'm sure. Okay, we, we may try. We might. Okay, you heard what she said? A skinless buttermilk fried chicken. We may try that in the, in the um, air fryer. Oh, guys, by the way, my air fryer door. You see my air fryer over there? I Look. Can see it right now. Okay, yeah. Can you see it? Uh-huh. Look at this. Look at that door. How did that happen? It got too hot. I don't know how it happened. Look at that. I love my air fryer, but I ain't in love with that. I haven't had that air fryer. I got it for Christmas. So and that door, barely six months. that door is like that. I refuse to, I refuse to actually get a new one because I don't want to, um, I don't want to buy another one yet. I like this one and this is the bigger one. It might be that it's not enough room around it. That's why it happened. I don't know. The other one I had wasn't like that, but, uh, I don't like the fact that that thing did that. So. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. But I'm going to wait. I wanted to think about something different, a different one. But I was looking up a, a few different ones, you know, online um, that, I, that could do what I needed to do. And I, I, I like this one here because I could actually bake a tube, a, a pound cake in it, you know. We don't need pound cake. I know we don't need pound cake. But when I wanted to cook, I could bake a pound cake in the doggone thing. So I was thinking that's and I really that, that pound cake came out wonderful and better than I think than it was in the oven. It was a good, good, good pound cake. But I'm like, look what happened to the stupid thing. It's, it's not even hardly paid for. <laughs> it was a gift, but it's still not hardly paid for. I'm not feeling all of that. So. All right. I do believe we're done. It looks delicious. Okay, so you know what? Let them rest and break up them. Yeah. I think we're done. How long is the resting period? Okay, that? guys. I want to show you it. I have to pull it down here. Maybe see like that and see if I can show you what it looks like. Come on. See? There you go. How they look? Can you guys see it? It looks amazing. Can y'all see that? There you go. That's if one slab. Can it be repaired? Is it under warranty? Check it out. Uh, it was like a 90 day warranty and, and it, it's done. Yeah, it was a 90 day warranty and 91 days it did that. It did that. I didn't pay for an ex, uh, extended warranty. So I'm very upset about that because I really like this one. You know, I have the smaller one and I have no problem with the smaller one. And I'm thinking, I'm really thinking that it, it's because. If you guys look at this, this is my thought on it. Uh, you see, I don't think I have enough clearance maybe on the top. So when it gets hot, maybe it just melted for that. Even look at the name. It, the name is even all coming off of here. So I'm not sure what it is about that. But I really liked it. I'll tell you now. I don't know what the heck. Yeah. <laughs> what did what Gabby say? <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh Gabby. my God. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know what Gabby used to tell me? She would put say, I have this, this, this in the house, and she'd go online and find and put those ingredients in and it told her how to make something. That's what she told me. You can do that. Yeah, I didn't know that. But Gabby told me that you can do that. So mm -hmm. I was like, Oh wow, cool. I didn't know that either. Like what what am I gonna make for dinner? I got all of these things in the house. You know, I am a little bit of um let me see. The pig have virus, and that is why they are killing them and leave what? What is that? What they say? The pigs have viruses? All food got viruses. <laughs> There's viruses everywhere. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Viruses everywhere. Not the pig. If we anything, they got a virus. So I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> so anyway. Yes, but I've made almost two hours on this thing, and I guess it's time to go. So, thank you all for coming. I truly appreciate you guys. Maybe be back next week. We'll, we'll let you know. 
you know. But again, I'm. I think I'm, we will. I, Sharita says she thinks we will. You know, depends on if she wants me to do her hair. So and we'll what see. What are you doing Saturday? Like, you do it on Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing Saturday, but she will. I don't know, but I have a little more time since I don't got to go to work, go to work and spend three of my three hours of my day doing that, <laughs> three or maybe four hours of my day doing that. So it's kind of it's, it is a cool thing, but I might just want to go outside. We'll see. Make a plate, take a picture so I can see it. Okay, we'll do that. I'm gonna do that right now. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for coming. And my battery is low also. <laughs> wow. Cause we've been on for two hours, so my battery is low, so I really have to go. So, and it didn't even interrupt me. Usually, it want to kick me off. All right, guys, thank you. Enjoy your weekend, and I'm gonna see you soon. Mwah, mwah. See you, everybody. I truly enjoy you guys. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.